Hey guys, Roxbox90 here with another card a day in the life of an EDH commander. So this one's pretty straightforward, but some people might not have heard of the cards, so I thought I'd bring it up. It's Beacon of Tomorrows from Fifth Dawn. Six and two blue for a sorcery. Target player takes an extra turn after this one. Shuffle it in shuffle a beacon into its owner's library. So all the beacons work this way. They were all shuffled back into your library for reuse. It's kind of where they probably got the, the, the Zenith concept, where you use it and then shuffle back into your library. It's pretty much the same thing, and this was first. So it's probably inspiration for that. In terms of function, Beacon of Tomorrow's is a bit expensive. It's 6 and 2 blue, 8 mana for an extra turn when you have Time Warp, which is 3 and 2 blue, I think, for the same sort of effect. Obviously, it's not reusable. That's kind of the big debate with Beacon of Tomorrow's, is it's more mana, but it shuffles back in your deck for reuse. So in a format where you have lots of tutors and where you can um, you can go find it in your deck, is it better to do that, to find it in your deck and use it or draw it off your deck versus trying to reuse it or get it back from the graveyard? It's kind of a big question, because if you notice it says shuffle it back in, you can't choose. So in a format with lots of Eternal Witness effects, having Time Warp go to your graveyard, and then you're getting it back in your hand and reusing it for three less mana, it's a question whether the shuffling back in is, is really worth it. And also, of course, the shuffling back in takes into account that if the top of your deck is a real mess, it allows you to shuffle in, so it gives you even potentially more reason to play it, but technically you're not going to use this card for that. You might as well use a tutor like Green Sun Zenith or something, or your Black Sun Zenith. Like You might as well use one of the Zenith effects, then use this, which costs so much mana. So overall, it's not the greatest card. I think it can work well in some decks. It's just an interesting alternate to the take an extra turn effect, and there are decks that actually build around those, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please check out my channel sponsors below in the description of the video. And as always, Rocks Box 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.